Hi everyone, I'm Melissa, and I'm going to tell you about a project I made last year called Prisma Time. I'd like to start by asking who has felt stressed about time lately. <laughs> Me too. Um, I'm always thinking about where I'm supposed to be next. I have all these obligations, and I'm checking my watch. And that transition takes some neural energy, and that's exhausting, and it also takes me out of the present. So I wanted to address those issues. Um, now, I am aware, and I'm sure you agree, that contemporary society and culture, we demand a standardized approach to time. But I was wondering why that means it's the only way we think and talk about time, and why don't we develop other methods for timekeeping? So this led to the question, can I design a language for time that will somewhat allow me to divorce from the clock and the feelings of stress and anxiety that can come with it? Um, so I decided to design my own system for time. And since I was designing for myself, the first step I took was just analyzing my relationship with the clock and what doesn't work right now. So I made this list of grievances. Um, number one, because it's a numeric system, the clock expresses time in this absolute manner. However, time is a relative phenomena. Um, with smartphones and smartwatches, we are all on the exact same clock down to the second. This leads to this aggressive precision, precision when it comes to making our uh, societal commitments, which I don't really feel like I can keep up with. Um, and the eternal tick of the second hand it is um, harsh and it acts as, as a reminder that time is running out. Um, and that ultimately made me feel like I was losing time and losing out on things. So. Um, I thought perhaps a less absolute clock would help me let go of the minutes and the hours and allow me to adopt a more fluid approach to time. Um, these thoughts led me to develop Prisma Time, which is a timekeeping system that expresses time through color. Instead of counting minutes, hours, and seconds, Prisma Time makes me aware of time passing as the ambient color changes. This is just a picture of the desktop version. Um, the gradual changes in color are easier to register and it eliminates that neural transition I talked about earlier. Um, ultimately allows me to re remain more present in the moment and expend less energy. It gently and passively translates time without uh, counting it or slicing it, and it can register the general time of day without having to check your wrist or your phone. Uh, by letting going this way, I freed myself up to a lot of more exciting things in my brain. So this is a plan that I made of how you can express 24 hours using Q. And as many of you know, colors carry energy and emotion. So I was actually leveraging how I personally wanted to feel during different times of day. So for me, like yellow was midday, but someone else might feel like blue is midday. Um, so to make Prisma Time, I used an Arduino Uno, a DS1307 real-time clock, and a WS2812 LED strip. And I also was leveraging the Adafruit RTC library to grab accurate time data easily and the Adafruit NeoPixel library to translate that into color into the LED strip. Um, so once Prisma Time was functioning, it was time to think about the design in its physical form. And the first question I had to ask was, what does this look like in the real world? Um, and I started by looking at all of the places we already keep time, which is basically everywhere. Um, we keep them on our wrists, our appliances, our devices, our walls. Uh, for Prisma Time to be a successful time system, it should really be just as ubiquitous as the clock. So ideally, it would mirror all of these forms and therefore be a series of products, not an individual one. Uh, I chose to begin with a wall object just because it's a communal iteration that everyone could engage with with me. Um, so when designing it, I decided to make Prisma Time a long rectangle and not a circle because it's not the clock and it, it shouldn't have to look like it. The length of this object allows a lot of ambient light in the room. This is a cross-sectional diagram showing how the different materials and parts would fit together. And that's the final product in my bedroom with my dog and my cat. <laughs> um, so Prisma Time is really not meant to replace the clock at all. It's merely just another language of time that we can choose to use at our own will if it's something that works for us. Um, and as mentioned earlier, Prisma Time is a system. It's not an individual product. It should exist in all the places we find clocks. So my next steps are to expanding the Prisma Time line so that it is available to me everywhere I look for time. Thank you so much.